everybody my name is Michael and uh, today in this video I want to talk about uh, a really bad tragic day we had uh, a year ago today and uh, that uh, affected a lot of people in my school a lot of my friends and myself and uh, as well So, I mean, if I if I lose it while I'm talking about or while I'm speaking, um I highly apologize. But uh today we're going to be talking about a really bad day we had a year ago today. What uh happened was somebody from my school who was in the same grade as me, so he was a senior. Um you know, he, uh, he was killed in a, uh, car crash in Virginia. What, uh, what he was doing down there was he was, uh, he was headed, he was headed to a wrestling meet somewhere in Virginia. I, I don't remember where at exactly. Probably somewhere near Richmond. I, I'm not too sure, but, uh. You know, one day, you know, he was going to a wrestle, a wrestling tournament there because, you know, he, he wrestled and he had, he did pretty good with wrestling and, uh, he even, you know, he had the high, or the, he had the highest, uh, wrestling scores at my school, which, which was Ported Central High School, which, I'm graduated from there now. I'm I'm a I'm a freshman at Kalamazoo Valley Community College, but anyway, what happened was, you know, he was uh he was uh driving over to Virginia and just after midnight, I don't I don't know if he fell asleep or something like that, but you know, he was on a highway and he he lost control of his his car and just you know hit a sign and then hit a few trees and that's that's where he died. We didn't we didn't know about it until the next day. It was just after midnight probably like around 1230-ish, and you know, he, uh, he had a big day that day, he was supposed to wrestle, you know, a lot of other people from different schools across the country, and it just, it never happened. And that day, we were, uh, you know, back at school. As soon as we heard about it, we all, you know, a lot of a lot of people just lost it. You know, the way the way we heard of it, I mean, we had just got uh, done watching a movie in my first hour class, and. Uh, you know, we were kind of talking about uh, how the movie went or how or what could have done. And then, you know, uh, and then the next thing I heard, I seen, you know, I seen somebody walking out of class next door. Well, there were about three people, actually. And, you know, one of them was crying and, you know. I seen people uh, kind of surrounding her, seeing what's up, and as soon as I heard the the announcement intercom uh, ringer, I knew we knew something was up immediately, and because normally we don't get announcements until like after ten, and or bef I'm sorry, between. 9.30 and 10 at Ported Central and, 
you know, what they said on the announcements was to tell all the, or they told the teachers to read the emails and, uh, my teacher read the email and, you know, they said, they said that Dante Latora, that was his name, he was, he was killed in a car crash and not even 20, not even a full 20 seconds after she said that, you know, we had, we had about like two or three, uh, other fellow students just walk out and all their eyes out. I'm sorry. That was... And yeah, I mean, I will admit I did kind of lose it too. I mean, about like a few minutes after we heard that, you know, kind of walked around, you know, looking for my friends, seeing if they were okay. And unexpectedly, I lost, I lost it too. And I don't know, it was just, it was a really rough moment. We, I, everybody struggled with it. And I don't know, walking back to class, it was, it was really rough. I seen a lot of people, you know, hugging each other and, you know, bawling their eyes out. It was, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm sorry, pardon my language, but, it was, it was a really rough day that day. And a lot of his com competitors too, and you know his family members, they were they were devastated by it as well. And I just, you know, that day I didn't know what to say at all. It was it was really rough, and you know the next day. We did, uh, you know, we all gathered, we all gathered around, like, the front entrance of the school, you know, we kind of gathered around in a circle, and, um, you know, we all kind of sang, and, you know, teachers joined, too, and a lot of people didn't go to class yeah i mean a lot of people were late and but you know they ex you know they excused us for it and you know we uh you know i felt thankful that we all gathered around and you know i don't remember exactly what songs we sang I it was I don't know I don't remember but uh, you know I seen people you know kind of lose it as we were singing and uh, I lost I, uh, I kind of lost it too at that point but you know I mean it was it was hard not to it was hard not to tear up. I mean, it was, you know, it was something we all struggled with. And, you know, his, you know, his funeral was held, I think, about, like, almost a week after. And, you know, like, a lot of people were there, you know, a lot of his competitors that he's wrestled before. And, and, uh. A lot of people like that, you know, they were there too, along with his family. And, you know, it was, it was tough. 
it was really tough. Man. And, you know, I, I did make a slideshow and, you know, a lot of other people made dedications to Dante LaTora and, you know, I made a slideshow and dedicated it to, uh, uh, to him and another person we lost freshman year. I, I'll have that video in the description of this video, but, uh. Or I'll have a link to it anyway, but, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk about that, and, I mean, sorry if I, you know, looked like I was about to lose it, it's just, I don't know, it's really, it's really devastating, and it was, he was he was a good he was a good person. He he was you know, a lot of people liked him. He was very friendly. He he was good at making people laugh and you know, as soon as we all heard he was gone, it we it was that was tragic. I remember having a class with him freshman year and he was He was uh he was a good he was a good person. He would he was good at making people laugh and that day or the day we heard he was gone it it just hit us hard. So and not only that but a lot the best thing I remember about him was, you know, he taught he taught my little brother how to wrestle when he was still doing wrestling. And it it really sucked. I I don't or it it, it didn't suck that he taught him. I mean it it, it sucks that they that he was killed. So, you know, if, for those of you, if you ever know anybody who's going somewhere far away for something big and they're going alone, you know, wish them best of luck, you know, tell them good luck and be safe. And you know, ever ever since that day that 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 tragedy struck, you know, anytime somebody tells me they're going somewhere far away and they're they're driving, you know, I I wish them best of luck, you know, because you never know when something, you know, you never know when a tragedy can strike. So, for those of you who were close friends to Dante and, you know, you were friends or, you know, you were family or a, lo a loved one of some sort, you know, I hope, I hope you're doing okay. I mean, I mean, if I said something that wasn't correct, I, I highly apologize. It's just, it's hard for me to remember what all happened. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard for me to make this video without kind of losing it. So, you know, all right. Hope, you know, I'm not looking for this to go viral, but I mean, if you... If you like this video, I, I appreciate it. I mean, uh, you know, that's 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 all I got to say today, you know. Thanks for taking time to watch this. If you don't like it, you know, whatever. But if you do, I appreciate it.